Yeah, hello guys, welcome to our channel Live Builder Support Network. And we are here at the Standing Together Machine. We are here to do PVD equity floor on the pulpit over, over here. Okay, so we are here to transform this crowd into a very beautiful um, 3D design. Okay, so you just follow us and see what will go on. Okay, by first thing, we have to mop the surface to make sure it is free of any depth. Okay, then we go ahead to prime the surface. We do our 3D resin hardener mixing. We add it together, we spread them. We apply our 3D vinyl. Then we do our top coat and the rest. Okay, so you just watch us as we go on the process. All right. So guys, we have here our chemicals, all right? In 3D epoxy designs, we use resin and hardener. So this is resin, uh, this is also resin, and this, this is hardener, okay? The same as this one, this is hardener. So we are just going to mix this in a ratio of three is to one for our priming. Okay, so we do the calculation of the floor, the size, then we use that to determine the quantity of chemical to apply for each stage. So with the priming, we are going to use 6 kg for this floor, for this floor, just this floor. All right, so we are just going to measure them, pour them into a mixing container, then we mix together. This is 1 kg of resin, and this is 1 kg of hardener. So with, with this floor, we will need 6 kg for the priming. All right. And with a ratio of 3 to 1, we are going to use 4.5 kg of um, resin and 1.5 kg of hardware. Then we use it to prime our surface. So guys, yes, follow us as we do our mixing and priming of our surface here. Very we stir it very well. Instead, they have not any reason very well. So make sure when you are stirring, guys, you apply it on time. You don't have to delay because the moment, the more you delay, it becomes harder and it will become difficult for you to apply. All right, so when you have an even mixture of your razor and hardener what is left for you is to apply them on the surface so this is our this is our primer let's use face coat for you to understand so you just pour them on the floor and distribute them evenly So tomorrow we are waiting for about 12 hours. After that, we, we will come and apply our uh, 3D vinyl, which normally we call a stickers. Okay, we come and lay them, then continue the process. So let's wait after 12 hours. So guys, this is it. After 12 hours, we are back at the standing together machines at Atasaman Sukumasi. Um, mm. This is how our floor looks like after roughly let's say 24 hours it is very smooth and nice okay so we are yet to apply the 3d vinyl on top the design actually before we do our second and the final coat so this is the 3d vinyl the design we are coming to use so we are just cutting shaping them in place so this is Exicobi the CEO of Exicobi graphics house he did all the designs and the printing all right
laying our design onto the primer. So what is left for us now is to do our second coat and our last top coat. Okay. So we move on. So guys, finally, we are done with the work and this is how it looks like. This is 3D epoxy floor, okay? So see how reflective, how beautiful it is. So guys, if you need some at your home, your church, your office, you can just contact the numbers on the screen and we will be there to sort you out, as always. We say, we love to build you. Bye.